Asherick was one of the 742 medical professionals who signed a letter to the Premier August 2017 and had a sit-down with her at the legislature was cc'd to the federal minister of health the provincial minister of health the coroner of the province and the medical officer of health told him stop killing non-drug overdoses and drug overdoses because there's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency and it's rescue breathing plain common sense they're teaching millions of people down in the U.S. of A to do the same thing. Increases drug use and abuse, dysfunctional society. Post-traumatic stress with EMS, fire, and the police department. And it could happen to anybody. Because the signs of drug overdose mimic any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. Anyway people use substances. Children get poisoned all the time and any poisoning is a breathing emergency. Children don't suffer cardiac problems generally too young for that. Anyway it's all breathing emergency. Shortage of ventilators eh? Wonder why? Because there's thousands of them in the ICU on a ventilator. Permanent brain damage from Somebody forgot to give him rescue breathing. Huh. Yes, sir, that's what happens. Any breathing emergency. And you all make yourself sick. Because you know it's murder. A five-year-old child knows. Got a breathing emergency. You better give him some air ASAP. prevention sites saving you a lot of money them overdose prevention sites teaching people how to save non-drug overdoses too because they certainly do not pound on your beating heart if your heart stops from a respiratory emergency it's because your brain dead from lack of oxygen that's why your heart stops and then you're in big doo-doo big big doo-doo breathing if chest compressions are needed, you better hope not. You better hope not. Because multiple organ system failure and brain damage has occurred. That's why your heart stops from a breathing emergency. Breathing emergency, there's nothing wrong with your heart. Just plain common sense. And I watch how it make yourself sick because you know it's mass murder yet you say nothing. And you could be next. <laughs> I'm pulling parents off their children all the time. Non-drug overdoses. Their children are alive. And the parents are giving their children chest compressions because they've been teaching millions of people to do it. And they follow orders. <laughs>